Welcome, Michael, to the 30th uh, Teddy Awards and to the Berlinale. You brought a short to the generation section, which, um, which only takes place in the car, yeah. actually. And it shows a, a, a very beautiful dialogue or conversation between a son and his mother, a gay son and his mother. And I thought when I was watching it, it reveals so much about um, you know, family life and society. And I feel like people like us who live like in the Western world, there's like this notion of, you know, everything is fine here in terms of like queer or gay rights. And we just like live a very, which is true also to a certain extent. But then, you know, of course there's like still discussion within families and, you know, internalized homophobia may be going on. And I feel that like your film shows this like relationship between a mother and a son uh, and like his sexuality in a, in a really beautiful way. How did you come across that topic and what made you choose to direct that film? Well, first of all, thank you so much for all those kind words. Uh, what what interests me interests me about the, the situation is inspired by conversations that have taken place between me and my own mother mm -hmm. and friends of mine and, and their mothers and fathers mm -hmm. and what has been what has interested me about those conversations is that usually when I when I've been talking to my friends about it and when I think of my own mother uh, mm -hmm. the parents themselves don't know any any LGBT people whatsoever mm -hmm. uh, and what interests me about that is that they are basing their entire idea on mm -hmm. what it's like to be gay in today's society, on images that they've seen from from film mm -hmm. and from TV and from uh, newspaper articles, mm -hmm. you know. And if you only look at those things, mm -hmm. most of the time, being gay doesn't seem like a very happy deal, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what interested me about it. That the, when the mother talks to her son and when she gives the son advice, she's really saying things that she has seen. In movies, so mm -hmm. instead of talking about his father specifically, mm -hmm. she's saying something about how fathers in general in films uh, mm -hmm. are treating their gay sons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does and that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And but 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 how? Um, what 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 kind of like conversations did you have, for example, with your parents or like your friends or like what did you like realize in the process of? you know, like making that film and what were you inspired by basically, but what, what kind of conversations or maybe conflicts or, you know. No, yeah, well, I was really inspired by the whole, uh, the whole concept of a parent giving, uh, giving their child advice, They're trying to be friendly. Their intentions are, are good, but it comes off in a really weird way and a really mm. wrong way. Mm. It makes, uh, it made me question like whether are they really accepting or, or not when, when they're saying things like that? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I think that's mm -hmm. what inspired me about those mm -hmm. conversations. And then it also reveals in a way like the miscommunication within the family too, like that, for example, the father apparently maybe already knew before, you know, the mother. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing I also liked is that you, you shot it in one angle basically from, you know, like you, you, you look sort of like, do you look through the window? I also felt like I looked through the window yeah. into the car. Yeah. And what, what made you choose that perspective? Yeah. Do, do it, even like do it in the car, you know, why in the car and like why, why from that perspective? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to answer all of that. <laughs> but first, we can start with the angle first. Yeah, let's start with the angle. I just no, I just want to say that uh, something that also really interests me about about making the film is that among divorced parents, mm -hmm. when it comes to friends of mine, mm -hmm. uh, among the divorced parents, mm -hmm. their their own coming out process mm -hmm. has become like a trophy of trust mm -hmm. that the parents show between themselves. Mm -hmm. Like so, he came out to me first. So you should know. They can say that uh, those things, the parents. Uh, do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? I do, yeah. I do, yeah. So yeah. It's like it becomes like a competition or like a... Yeah, you know, and that's really like interesting about, yeah. about it, uh, that the whole coming out of the process has become like some, some sort of trophy yeah. among certain, yeah. certain divorced couples in, in Sweden. And uh, I chose the car because uh, I thought it was like the perfect location for this mm. situation. I really like the fact that they're sitting behind this, you know, they're sitting behind metal and glass mm. and they're just talking about something that's 
outside of the car and, mm -hmm. and they're in this comfort uh, comfort zone mm -hmm. where, where they're privates with one another mm -hmm. and the reason why I chose to shoot the entire film in two single takes is it's basically two answers to that question uh, and the first one is that I'm really a big fan of, of watching long takes mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm really attracted towards the, the challenge of making because mm -hmm. it poses a challenge both in terms of acting and directing mm -hmm. but also in terms of writing mm -hmm. um, writing something that's going to be interesting for, for that long mm -hmm. means certain we needed to get a certain pace and mm -hmm. to get it right and and the second reason is uh, is I, I really needed to shoot it in one evening because <laughs> yeah, the okay. car mount was uh, that we, we needed to shoot the film was so expensive yeah. so I could only afford to rent it for one evening yeah. so we had to shoot the entire film in one evening okay. yeah so we had rehearsed obviously before in like some yeah. other car or like just in yeah. somewhere else in like in somewhere else okay. without cameras right, right so right. we just rehearsed all the relationships and, mm -hmm. and the scene themselves mm -hmm. but we had to get the film during one evening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's pretty intense mm -hmm. <laughs> how how would you like generally because you were also just mentioning again like the situation among your friends and then in sweden spe specifically what i mean i feel there's like this this stereotype and maybe it's not a stereotype and it's truth, but you know, there's like this idea of this like very open and liberal like Scandinavia and then yeah. you know, Sweden and then we see in Denmark, but we see right now like all these crazy like, I don't know, very nationalist or right, right wing, you know, politicians coming up who want to close borders and like, um, yeah. so it's like this very weird image, you know, like it's on the one hand very liberal and very progressive and I guess in terms of sexual politics, from what from the Swedish people I know, you know, that live in Berlin, for example, it seems like that too. But, but how would you describe like the general climate or atmosphere, maybe also right now? Is it really that simple and beautiful and you know like liberal, <laughs> or is it more complex? Oh, it's such a good question, uh, and a question that really needs like a thorough answer. Mm. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have to give the entire, you know, but yeah. the entire yeah. thorough answer. But just what do you think about that? Well, like, yeah, but it's, like how do you feel it's really it interesting too, like what, what you say because it's it's uh, there's a, like a major contradiction there. Some also things are in Germany, progressing, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and some of the things that we're going so much backwards. So, and do you feel like in Sweden it's uh, like how do you feel personally about it? Do you think it's do you feel like in a in a like welcoming in like that, that you live in a welcoming environment? I mean, you're a filmmaker, and I guess you're surrounded by like creative people and artists so you might be in a different community there but like yeah you definitely I mean, in, in that sense I'm very privileged mm. since I'm part of this cultural context in, in Sweden mm. but uh, personally I feel welcomed mm -hmm. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but that's probably not true for for everyone unfortunately okay so. um, what other films did you make or like what other what other content you know were you interested in in your like previous films? Well, I always try to make uh, I always try to make the images that I've been missing mm -hmm. that I feel like are that I personally miss and I've mm -hmm. experienced mm -hmm. that that I have had or that friends of mine have had that mm -hmm. I really long to to see on on the screen because. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because it's important for me to bring them out mm -hmm. on screen as a sort of like document on what it's like to be be a person today. Mm -hmm. So I always try to. That's that's my drive, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe that process? So you're inspired by some like real life event or some stories you've heard, and then you just sit down and write, or like how do you sort of like turn that into a film project or like a narrative? Well, usually there's there's a situation or, or something that has happened that I'm inspired by. And I make something out of that, which is like a myriad of different experiences. Mm -hmm. So in the end, it's it's not something that is an actual event. You know, it's, it's a myriad of, of experiences mm -hmm. merged into one. 
but I, I'm just looking for situations that uh, I ultimately become obsessed with, mm -hmm. and this situation was one of them, mm -hmm. because it raises so many interesting questions to me, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like I feel both for the son in the mm -hmm. film and, and for the mother, mm -hmm. and and I see how they're trying to find a way to communicate and to meet, but it's it's impossible for them because mm -hmm. they're coming from such different viewpoints of mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. So I'm just uh, yeah looking for that. Mm -hmm. And how? But how does that process continue when you like you wrote and then you start casting or looking for for actors? And how do you communicate, sort of like with them? You know, who essentially convey your project to the audience like how do you rehearse and um, yeah I mean this this film I've, we, we shot it during one evening mm -hmm. but the scene itself I've been writing on that scene for two years mm -hmm. so it took me a, a long time to just try to find like a natural sort yeah. of uh, natural sort of changes within the scene and uh, and and it's also a pre-study for a feature film that I'm writing. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I've been writing on this feature for a long time. So mm -hmm. I really felt like I need to do something. I need mm -hmm. to meet some actors. Yeah. And I really yeah. needed to make this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wanted to see it mm -hmm. <laughs> and to make it for myself. Um, and so I, I've been casting the, the actors. And once I found the actors, I've gone through this uh, rehearsal period with them where we've been meeting for a couple of times before the shoot mm -hmm. and I just try to to me it's really important to make the relationships as believable as possible mm -hmm. uh, that you should really believe that the mother and the son that they're actual mother and son mm -hmm. and uh, and also that the that the boys in the film uh, are in love with each other we should mm -hmm. believe that mm -hmm. so that was actually really important to me mm -hmm. so I tried my best to to actually make them mm -hmm. fall in love with each other mm -hmm. but I, I didn't quite succeed uh, <laughs> What do you mean you didn't, you didn't succeed? Like in yeah, I was Europe kind of like hoping that they would actually fall in love with each other, you know, outside of the Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, the, okay. that's so it was a like bit, a, oh, wow. <laughs> that's a bit of a hybrid. That's a very, very high, yeah, that's yeah. like a high stakes. Okay, <laughs> so you were like intentionally like setting up meetings and dates with them and like sort of... How yeah, so well, I have a, I Did they know each other before at all? No, like they didn't at all. So I could direct their first meeting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. I, could, okay. I okay. could sort of plot their, their fir very first meeting with one another. Okay. And, <laughs> and I had this rehearsal period with them, but what happened also was that uh, they accidentally ran into each other uh, in, in the city, purely by accident. But both of them were completely sure that it was all my plan. You know that I had planned for them to accidentally bump into each run other. to each other. In the yeah. <laughs> but I'm not that good. <laughs> well, you can still get there. You can still get yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. The Are they still film. friends though? Or yeah, like, they're friends. They're really good friends. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that that is nice. How did you um, how did you feel when you first time when you when you for the first time saw the final cut? And um, the final cut. How did how did you feel about the realization? I was terrified before I, I saw it, before I saw the take, but when, once I actually saw it, I was really happy mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. uh, it had been a real challenge when we shot the film, because during the shooting I felt like we got, did about like 10 or 15 takes on the, on the major scene, and I felt like we... During one take, we had a good beginning, but the ending wasn't that good, mm -hmm. and, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but the final take we got was actually really nice all the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how, how do you imagine the relationship of both mother and son uh, to continue? Uh, actually, I don't want to answer that. I don't think it's my. Uh, I don't think I should answer mm -hmm. that. I really hope that one, one sees the film and starts to think about that. What's going to happen with mm -hmm. these characters mm -hmm. once the credits roll? Mm -hmm. But I, f I felt like it would be wrong for me to say something. Like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how did the people? Because you just mentioned that you had already shown it in Göteborg at the festival, yeah. film festival. How did the audience react? Did you did you get in conversation or did you talk to people? about it to the audience 
like what did they did they ask questions or that was a very response? good uh, reception I felt yeah. but I, I think there are, there's some elements of humor in the film <laughs> but that didn't seem to uh, be grasped at, at all because it felt like everyone had this really dramatic uh, experience of the film but they had mm-hmm. more anxiety than, than humor mm-hmm. and uh, so that sort of surprised me a bit because uh, I felt that there were some parts that were a bit that I, I feel at least is a bit funny towards <laughs> the, in the entire situation I mean it's a very dark and dramatic situation in a way but what did you feel? Did you? Feel I mean I thought I mean I just I don't know there were like so many small funny parts also when in the very beginning when she, I found it funny when she just said that that, that she thinks she's a bit stiff or something. Yeah, that's what yeah. I found oh, that you, funny. You <laughs> but it, it's, good. it's you know like the the way I've never actually I've never my mother has never commented on partners of mine or something. But I thought that's like yeah. a really honest like I don't know yeah. I would love to have them <laughs> like that. That's I, so I thought that was funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was yeah. kind of like. But I imagine this to be like Swedish humor too. You know, I was like, wow, yeah. this is. This is very direct, you know. She's like, and then like this, this like, I don't know, like this, this like weird like indirectness, and like in the beginning, not really, you know, like it's just explicitly saying, hey, you know, like your dad is like a homophobe, you know, or like he might be a homophobe, but like you know, this like, just, I don't know, circling around it, and I, I thought that was, that was kind of, kind of funny, and. Yeah. And beautiful was just like the you could still feel like the underlying love, you know. The ver- I mean, there's just the you know, this love, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. that's like what binds them. But that often means to to have like real, you know, tough arguments. Yeah. So and that's really like good. That's, yeah, it's that's very good. good. Yeah. I'm very happy. With this, uh. <laughs> Me too. And <laughs> I, I hope you going. you will have uh, no. I'm I'm pretty sure because <laughs> because now you will show it to like a really young audience, like teenagers. Yeah, and yeah. And I'm, I'm really excited sure about that actually because. I feel like also there's this tendency when when one makes I'm interested in making films uh, about young people and towards a young audience yeah. and there's this tendency at least in the Swedish film industry but I be, believe in the film industry in general that when one makes films towards a young audience one has to it has to be like quick cuts you know it yeah. has to be sort of yeah. like a music video almost oh, okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. and uh, so I'm really excited about watching a 9 minute and 15 second long take <laughs> with with a young audience to see if, if they're going to be in it if it, it works i believe it will work and i really hope it will work or if they're just going to be like super bored you know they're just going to bring out their iPhones and start <laughs> chatting and start chatting on, on, on uh, i turn out well you will i don't think so but you will see yeah you will see the <laughs> next days i wish you a good time and like Thank you. hopefully good conversations too because this is so you know this is your possibility to like really be in contact with your audience yeah so have a good time thank you, thank so, you much. so much yes yeah. thank you <laughs>